They arrive from all over the country, gather in the nation's capital, and instantly bond with otherwise complete strangers. Right on, man. All just to play ball. Championship. Teams have been playing really well this tournament. It's called Street Soccer USA, and while the crowds CC! Yeah! and the competition seem typical, yeah! its players are anything but. Yes, they've got the jerseys and the coaches, but you see, once they leave the stadium, most of them have nowhere to go. This is where they live, on the streets. This is homeless soccer. I try all kind of way. In 25 years, I, I try all kind of way. At 55, Emilio Green of Washington, D.C. has bounced around most of his life. On a typical day, go to a temp work, make me about $75, buy me a three for 25 crack and be smoking it. If I was in San Francisco right now, I'd probably be in the streets doing something I have no business doing. The goal is simple. Show them a different way. Improve confidence, conflict resolution, all aspects of life off the field by scoring on it. Oh! So I just here for three days, I'm not homeless. Frank Mairns, homeless for the past 15 years, is temporarily leaving his street corner behind in hopes of changing people's minds. They don't even treat us like human beings. Some, some of the looks and some of the comments that you get, we just want to be recognized as people. It seems to be working. And it doesn't end here. About a dozen of these players will be picked for the U.S. National Street Soccer Program. They'll go to Italy and compete against homeless soccer players from nations all around the world, showing that the problem is just as universal as the sport itself. For many, it's the first chance to feel proud in a long time. There are inspiring acts of sportsmanship, moments usually only seen in movies, and tears of joy for a game-winning save. This kind of builds their momentum towards uh, getting jobs, getting uh, education. They work now, they're going to school. Remember Emilio? He hasn't seen his children in 10 years. That, he says, is going to change. You start seeing a, a different things. You start seeing other people and make you be happy. Hallelujah. <laughs> this unbridled joy, contagious. After games, it's hard to tell just which team won. Though in case you're wondering, San Francisco took the trophy. But all are leaving with a newfound belief that their feet are finally taking them to a better life. Everything is possible in life, everything. And, uh, we proved it today. See you next year, guys.